everybody, it's Lisa Burningham, and I'm so glad that you're here with me. To say that we love Halloween is an understatement. We decorate our home every single year. We do spider-themed coffee tables. We do spider-themed food. We do witch centerpieces. So to match what's going on on the inside, we're gonna do some fun things on the exterior of our home, and we're gonna decorate our front porch. We're gonna do some laundry baskets full of skeletons, we're gonna do some spiderweb wreaths, and we're gonna do a ghost with someone that might surprise you lurking underneath. I'll give you a hint, they have ice in their veins. If you like decorating for the holidays like I do, if you like doing DIYs, home decor, or you want some more party ideas, then you've come to the right place. I post weekly videos and I would love to have you subscribe so you can be a part of all of the fun upcoming projects that I have planned for the holidays. This front porch tour is in collaboration with Heidi from Happily Thriving Heidi. Now Heidi has an amazing channel. She does DIYs, she does home organization, she does clean with me's and more. So I will leave a link to Heidi's channel in the description box below as well as a link to the playlist so you can see all of the front porch ideas that the other participants came up with. To start off decorating my front porch, I'm gonna use some skeletons that have been in gel far too long. Now to make my gel, I used some laundry baskets that I got from the Dollar Tree. I also used some smaller baskets that had handles on it. They were also from the Dollar Tree. And the only problem was the color. The laundry baskets were white and the smaller basket was green. So what I did was I spray painted a few coats of black paint on the baskets and it turned it a beautiful shade of black and it's perfect now to put my skeletons inside. Once the paint on my basket is dry, it's time to add my prisoners. Now I got these little skeletons from the Dollar Tree. I picked up four of them and I added three to the large basket and this last skeleton gets some time in solitary. So I'm gonna put him in the smaller basket I'm gonna close it up and I'm going to secure it together with some electrical tape. Now this is a great option because it's a little more elastic, so you can easily put it through both of the baskets and it will tie it tightly together. And then also it's black, so it will blend in with the black paint that we used and you won't be able to see what's holding everything together. I'm also going to be using the black electrical tape to attach my chains to my basket. Again, these are from the Dollar Tree and they don't weigh very much, they're just plastic. And so the tape is perfect and the tape alone will be able to hold and attach the chains to the basket. I'm going to hang my gelled skeletons on this tall iron plant holder. Now what I did was I took a curtain rod and I put it across the top. And again, I use that electrical tape to secure it together, and I'm gonna put the basket on either side. But before I do that, I'm gonna put in some cream gauze. I'm just gonna drape it over the top, and then I'm gonna add these cute little spiders. The cream gauze will break up all of this black because there's so much black. It'll add a little more brightness to it and a little more interest and excitement. In the center of my display, I'm adding this chalkboard tombstone. It's just another fun way to add a whimsical touch to this display. You can easily take regular household items and transform them into ominous Halloween decorations. This is an affordable and creative way to house creepy skeletons emerging from behind the bars. Front door decorations are one of my favorite ways to decorate my porch. There are so many ways you can do it. You can use wreaths like I did. You can use some signs or some spiders. And these wreaths couldn't have been any easier. I got these spider web forms at the Dollar Tree and they were the perfect size. I also decided to make some bows to embellish it a little bit because it was pretty plain. So what I did was I got some of this spider ribbon. It was also from the Dollar Tree and some coordinating striped ribbon. And then I added some cute little ornaments. Now these ornaments are black and sparkly and they have spiders on it. And all I did was I took some black and white twine and I attached it through the ornament hook and I 
put it onto my wreath. I just tied a knot and I did it at various heights so it gave a little more interest so it wasn't just straight across and I think it turned out beautifully. If you haven't guessed by now who our mystery guest under the sheet is, it is Frosty the Snowman. Now Frosty has been in our family for years and he lights up our front porch every year for Christmas, but this year he's gonna join us for Halloween and he's gonna get a costume. I'm going to drape Frosty in a black sheet. Now this is an old black sheet and we certainly don't use it for bedding anymore. If you don't have an old sheet, you can use a tablecloth a plastic tablecloth from the Dollar Tree is an affordable option and they come in black and white so if you wanted a white ghost you could use that too. Now that Frosty is all covered up we're going to embellish him. We're going to give him some googly eyes, we're going to give him a trick-or-treat bucket to hold, we're going to put some spider webs and some spiders on him, we're also going to give him a sign to hold, a beware sign to warn trick-or-treaters what is coming. I'm going to attach these googly eyes that I got at the Dollar Tree to Frosty the Ghost and I'm going to do it using these safety pins instead of tape because if I use tape it's so humid here that it would be off in five minutes so securing it with safety pins is the best way to do it. I simply poked the safety pin through the back side of the eyes and then attached it onto my sheet. One of the best parts about our ghost is that it lights up, so it will glow at night and provide a beautiful, warm Halloween ambiance. Also, this was so affordable because it was something that I already had and I just reused it in a new and fresh way. My front porch is ready for Halloween. It turned out so cute. And every time I look at my little inhabitants, it makes me smile because it's cute and scary all at the same time. I hope you got some inspiration so you can decorate your front porch and I hope you enjoyed designing with me today. Welcome your guests this fall season with a spectacular Halloween porch. From caged skeletons to a recycled ghost, you can set the mood with more than just a jack-o'-lantern. Hopefully these Halloween porch ideas gave you some inspiration to make your porch the best Halloween porch on the block. If you're looking for other fall inspiration, I've got some ideas for you. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Now my front porch is ready for Halloween. I am so happy with the way it turned out. It's cute and scary all at the same time. And every time I look at all these little inhabitants, it just makes me <laughs> Oh my God!